happening in Gaza, to start with that, uh, again, uh, well, it's basically the current stage of what's going on. There's a lot more. It uh, begins with the Hamas uh, election uh, back uh, at the end of January. Uh, Israel and the United States at once announced that they were going to punish the people of uh, Palestine for voting the wrong way in a free election, and the punishment has been severe. The latest phase began uh, on uh, uh, June 24th, when I think it was, when uh, uh, Israel abducted two uh, Gaza civilians, a, a doctor and uh, his brother. Uh, we don't know their names. Uh, you don't know the names of victims. Uh, they were taken to Israel, presumably, and nobody knows their fate. Uh, the next day, uh, something happened which we do know about a lot. Uh, uh, militants in uh, Gaza, probably Islamic Jihad, uh, uh, abducted a, an Israeli soldier uh, across the border. That's uh, Corporal Gilad Shalit, and that's well known. Uh, first abduction is not. Uh, then, uh, then followed the uh, uh, escalation of Israeli attacks on on Gaza, which. Uh, I don't have to repeat, just reported them adequately. The next stage was uh, Hezbollah's abduction of two Israeli soldiers, uh, they say, on the border. Uh, they, their official reason for this uh, is that uh, they uh, are aiming for a prisoner release. There are a few, nobody knows how many. Uh, officially, there are three Lebanese prisoners in Israel. There's allegedly a couple hundred people missing. Nobody knows where they are. Missing, nobody knows where they are. But the real reason, I think it's generally agreed uh, uh, by analysts, is that, uh, I'll read from the Financial Times, which happens to be right in front of me, uh, the timing and scale of its attack suggests that it was partly intended to reduce the pressure on the Palestinians by forcing Israel to fight on two fronts simultaneously. David Hurst, who knows this area well, describes it, I think, this morning as uh, uh, a display of solidarity with the suffering people, the clinching impulse. Uh, it's a very, in my view, very irresponsible act. It subjects uh, Lebanese to uh, uh, possible, certainly to the play of terror and, and possible extreme disaster. Hundreds of rockets have been fired, and uh, uh, naturally that has to be stopped. The rockets were fired after the uh, heavy Israeli attacks against Lebanon, which uh, killed, well, latest reports, maybe 60 or so people and destroyed a lot of infrastructure.